Are reported cases of domestic violence incidents on the rise here in Donegal? Well, from our own statistics, we have had an increase of 30% in our helpline calls since 2000, from 2004 to 2006. Um, in 2006, we had 2,943 helpline calls. We saw 472 women in our outreach service. We accommodated 31 women and 30 children. It is pretty certain that about 20% women who are in intimate relationships are being abused and that's what we call the standard, that's the standard in all Western cultures. Well I know that reported cases are rising. Um, I don't take that as meaning that domestic violence is on the rise and I don't think it's going away. If a woman decides to stay in an abusive relationship and not seek help, what are the possible outcomes? Where can you see it leading to? What's the conclusion? Right. Um, well, it's never going to change. You know, mm -hmm. she's always going to be in that abusive relationship. You mean if she's not doesn't seek any help mm -hmm. at all? Mm -hmm. Just decides to put up with it. Well, the one possible outcome, if it was very violent, is that she could be killed. Why our service started was because a woman was actually murdered here in Letterkenny on the first access visit with her children. Could this not be seen though as uh, a moral issue uh, and, not, and not a gender issue, it's just, um, it's just an immoral behaviour, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a, a gender thing? Well, I, I suppose it's just that I do see it as a gender issue, I think it's that something that has grown up out of a view that um, men have, have a kind of a right and that traditionally men have seen women as their property and that their head of the family, um, which is still prevalent in, in some cultures mm -hmm. today. What is the 16 day action plan? Well it's an international, um, um, I suppose, recognition that this issue needs to be highlighted r frequently throughout the, the year or throughout the cycle, so I think um, certainly in the western cultures women's aid in, in, in UK and in Ireland and in some other parts of Western Europe and in parts of the States, they have this 14-16 uh, day action plan each year where I think they highlight the issue and, and as, you, as you have said already, uh, even though it is a quite a serious issue, it gets very little coverage. Uh, one of the things is, it didn't interest me, there's some uh, artwork. There's That's artwork. right. There's, I mean, there's, there's two things here behind us, there's also something we're going to see later on, which is a painting. Yeah, that we do that as part of our 16 Days of Action campaign. Actually, we write out to all the different schools and the children take part in, in the art and we also do poetry as well. We would actually have an art exhibition. You know, we're actually launching that this year again. And we would have um, the pictures in the different libraries throughout Donegal and we find there's a huge response. And I mean, as you can see from the pictures behind me, they're very good, you know, and never really understanding of what domestic violence is. And we think it's good that we do get into schools and that they do start to realise, you know, that, that this is what domestic violence is about before they actually get into relationships. So Fiona, what can you tell us about this painting here that's in your office? This painting was produced by a, an 11 year old child as part of our 16 Days of Action campaign. And she went to the Loretta convent here in Letterkenny. Mm -hmm. What age do you say she was again? Eleven. Eleven. Mm -hmm. If there is someone watching this film now who is in the kind of relationship we've been discussing, what is your advice to them? My advice would be tell someone, seek help, ring a helpline, we have a 24 hour helpline as I said which is 074912627 which there's somebody there at all times and don't suffer in silence, nobody deserves to be abused. It's what the refuge movement is about uh, is to give the victim space to think for themselves. Outside of the physical protection if you can protect the victim's mind from being got at by the perpetrator then over a period of time, and it can happen quite quickly, 
that the victim will recover her ability to think for herself and begin to see the world as she saw it when she was 18 or 20 before she ever got into this relationship and to begin to use her language again as distinct from his language describing what's going on. Just pick up the phone, talk to somebody, you don't even have to leave your home if you don't want to, if you want somebody to talk you through. We never tell a woman what to do, all we do is give her the options and she decides what she wants to do for herself. Do you, do you ever get disillusioned uh, from working with the perpetrators? Because uh, I, I gathered uh, from your paper that these, a lot of them seem to be all the same. I mean, there was, there was a pattern there. Do you, do you ever, I mean, it's, it's an unpleasant, uh, I imagine they're unpleasant people, quite frankly. I, I wouldn't even interview one of them for this documentary. It's, it's extraordinary how nice they are. <laughs> But, but do you, do, so do you get dis do ever get disillusioned with it? I get and sad. Think, and think, I, yeah. I, I get sad. I, I get sad because I know that all of these men are probably going to destroy the one opportunity they have in life to be loved as a man. And they're going to ruin it. And I feel sad for them because the men who don't change, they end up very much alone. Their wives, their kids, nobody wants to know them. And they, I think that's unfair unfortunate for them mm. and it makes me sad but disillusioned um, do you ever think that well to hell with it this is not um, do you ever think what, what difference am I making um, well I do um, every the, week the, the, this problem is never going to go away or it can't I, I, I do uh, I think this problem is never going to go away mm. I think that our response to it has to improve so if I can see any glimmer of hope I see it in the ability of all of us other people other concerned people to do the job better as a agency or as a government or as a community mm -hmm. and at every level that we will no longer tolerate this behaviour um, so that our sons or daughters and the next generation will not um, feel it that is acceptable because that's what the community does at the moment, it tolerates it.